Hello. In this video, I'm going to show you how I uh, clone the operation system when I replace hard disks or when I install a new SSD on the old machines. Basically, that's the Toshiba from the previous video. I told you I'm going to replace the old disk with the SSD one. So, here's a quick tip from me how you can do this. Basically, I got the both disk, the new one and the old one connected to one of my um, stations here. I use it just for uh, checking disks, um, cloning and different kind of testings. I don't do cloning while the operation system is working uh, since if there is some system file which is using for, uh, used from the operation system the program cannot uh, copy it properly so basically I remove the both disks and use a separate machine for the cloning <coughs> it's much easier and it's working fine so basically that's the SSD drive it's um, 240 gigabytes and uh, this is a one terabyte hard drive which is going to be used as a second one and uh, storage uh, I use a program called uh, AOME Backupper. Very pff, useful program. I'll try to to make you see on the screen. Basically, I use a boot bootable disk, and uh, when you boot it, you have an option here for the cloning. You have uh, different uh, different option. The first one is uh, disk clone which basically will clone the whole drive um, to the new one if uh, if your hard if your new drive is uh, larger than the old one it will separate the difference uh, like an uh, unlocated space and after that you can uh, just expand the drive or something like that if the new disk is smaller than the the old one if you have enough space the program will clone the disk otherwise it will show you an error uh, which is uh, the disk there is not, not enough space uh, most of the time I use the second option which is a system clone in this option uh, the program scans both drives and uh, finds uh, where the operation system is after that just clone the whole system and leave everything else uh, intact so basically that's the whole thing we we're gonna select clone system right now and the program uh, asks us uh, where is the destination hard drive since this is the old one this is the system disk and this is the operation uh, system uh, partition that's the data storage this is the new SSD right now here which is unlocated so we basically click the SSD like a destination partition we click next and on the next section the, the program uh, tell us that it's gonna clone the C drive from the old disk plus the system reserved partition and everything will go to the destination partition also when you're cloning the operation system uh, I advise you to check uh, align partition to the optimize for SSD this is when uh, you're cloning to the SSD drive from a regular disk basically it optimized the, the whole partition with the size of the clusters and uh, etc so basically just put a tick here on a line partition to optimize the SSD and then click start clone right now the the program will clone both of the partitions and leave the D which is the data storage intact uh, it will take about probably half an hour depend on the uh, amount of uh, information you have but basically that's the whole procedure it's very useful program very nice also works with the uh, Windows 10 so you can clone even a new operation system doesn't matter if it's a regular one or a UFI I use it very often so hope you like the video uh, I'm gonna stop it now since it will take uh, probably half an hour and it will be very boring after that just I'm gonna put the SSD on the place of the disk and place the regular disk in this adapter and we'll see how it will go that's for me now hope you like the video bye bye for now